This was really a course where the, the students were participants in the course itself and you know, we found 18 students that were you know, very willing to do this and that brought sort of energy every week. The instructors, we were kind of like the seventh group for, for the course. Right? So the course, we had six groups of students working on different projects and the, the instructors, the course itself was our project. We had been able to translate all these ideas that we had into a prototype. And then we you know, presented the prototype essentially to the student and the, the whole semester that was the test. What we asked the students to do this semester, we, we had these community partners, they're gonna go and meet these people and they're gonna present you with a problem. It's gonna be a problem that's not necessarily has an obvious solution. Right, so now your job is to understand what it is is being asked of you, why they're asking you this, what are their motivations, and hopefully through this, sort of get a deeper understanding of the problem, maybe expand on what's being asked, and when you're creating a design, do it as creatively as possible. There were definitely lots of brainstorming sessions, they, they built prototypes, and they would test it, and the information they would gain through the various processes might send them back to, you know, in the process a little bit, but always getting more information and sort of moving toward the final design. The students engaging in this kind of work was the goal of the course. The teams were leading these projects, right? Every problem, or I should say most of the problems that the teams encountered, they were unique to their project. And so they had to come up with solutions that were also unique to them, and they had to find their own way of sort of moving past these obstacles. But the, the commonality, what, you know, was, was this right here, all the students engaging in this.